I remember parking the truck Monday morning at approximately 7, 7.15. That's the last thing I remember until uh, Thursday around lunch. My name is uh, Will Glover. I'm 44 years old. I have been here at Dothan Police Department for uh, 18 years. I've been a certified police officer for 21 years. I had actually had a terrible headache um, pretty much all weekend, probably since Friday night. I stopped at the gas pumps located behind the Civic Center, not because I needed gas, but because I was going to clean my floorboard out. I remember parking the truck. That's the last thing I remember. I got a call, and it was from Jason Atkins. He works with Will at the police department. He's like, Will fell at the gas pumps. He's had an accident. Um, we need you to come to the hospital. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not freaking out. And when we pulled in, there was police cars everywhere. My world fell apart. I lost it. Will came in with a ruptured aneurysm. Um, the type of aneurysm that he had was a little bit different than the common aneurysms that I see that are ruptured. His particular type was more of a dissecting type of aneurysm that was at the back of the brain. And uh, normally with some of these aneurysms, we can actually just sacrifice that blood vessel and treat his aneurysm. Unfortunately, his anatomy that he was born with is a little bit different. And it required uh, use of a flow diverting device. The initial prognosis when somebody comes in with a ruptured aneurysm, um, a third of those patients never make it to us to see us. They actually die before they ever make it to the hospital. About a third of the ones that make it to the hospital um, either die or they have some permanent neurological deficit and they don't return back to their normal function. Hey, y'all listen up. <coughs> Chaplain Henderson's gonna say a prayer so we don't get in trouble for clogging up the hallway so we can kind of meander a little bit. So if everybody will listen up. My daughter arranged the prayer vigil. She's like, my daddy's the strongest man I know. And if anything can get him through this, it's going to be a prayer. Tell us what it was like to see him come to you. It was heavenly. because I thought I lost him. My best friend was back. December the 10th to January 3rd, I was in the hospital here at Southeast Health. Um, out of those days, all but one and a half was in the ICU unit. Looking back, I don't know how uh, my wife got any rest. I don't think she did get a whole lot of rest. She would just rest for an hour, shower, and come right back to the hospital. So it was, she was a trooper through all of it. You have normally two vertebral arteries that go up the back of the neck. In patients that have that normal anatomy where they come together with this. As far as I'm concerned, yeah, Dr. Doctor, Doctor Bentley's uh, the smartest man you know, on the face of the earth. So uh, I can't say enough good things about the, the care and, the, and, and all the staff members were just amazing. I just believe that the good Lord still got something planned for me.